take that bus to the hotel or a taxi and eventually a taxi will cost you roughly 40 euros get prepared <laughs> oh a big boat eh. Okay, welcome on board, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Some both groups. The almost brand new uh, cruise ship piers on the, at the Tronqueto port. And the ship you see on your left is one of these cruise ships. So as I mentioned it, Venice is sinking and they're doing lots of efforts to uh, stop this sinking. And some years ago they said they had managed to stop the sinking of Venice, but since they built these uh, new uh, piers for the cruise boats and the cruise boats started to pass in the Judeca Canal, it creates again oh, several I explained to you about these lines of pillars, three pillars getting into the water. You can see there's a place the right where over. only the tourists come. We are mistaken. Venice is a real city with plenty of facilities like every big city. As I mentioned it uh, on the it coach for my cultural event. It happens in the Biennale Garden that you see shaped not far from where it will be dropped off. So if you keep moving here to the An architect called Masari, who was a popular of the very famous Venetian architect, born in Padova, a city not far from Venice, Andrea Palladio. You see the particular shape of the cupola behind. It is the very typical shape of the cupolas of the Venetian churches. That was So if you keep looking to the left, you see the Emporio di Sali. If it was, uh, if there was a bit more light, you would be able to read it. Sali is salt. Huh? It is where the salt market was in Venice. And you keep yes, looking to the right. That was very old. If you keep looking to the left, uh, where the tower is, and behind these buildings that are hiding the tower, it is the uh, St. Mark Square. The next building after the big tower that you see is the Dodgers Palace. You might have seen it on postcards, brochures. Mm -hmm. And behind